Hello, this is Krista from Key Music and Design, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to write in the note names and play the song Michael Myers' theme from the movie Halloween. Let's start off by checking if we are in the treble clef or the bass clef with our notes. And it looks like we are in this nice fancy treble clef. And the second thing we need to look at before we start the song is if we have any sharps or flats in our key signature. And it looks like we do. We have two. And those two sharps are an F sharp and a C sharp. So that means within the whole song, if there are any Fs or Cs, we are going to change them to sharps, unless otherwise indicated, which there are some that change to that white key natural C and F. So keeping that in mind, let's move to our first note and name it. And in this song, there are lots of notes that repeat. Let's quickly take a second to either learn or refresh our memory about ledger lines. So ledger lines are these nice little floating lines. So ledger lines are these nice little floating lines that either go through the note or have a note sit on top of them. Up in this little diagram that I have, what well, move a page off, there we go. Up in this little diagram that I created, we know that the very top line of our treble clef is an F. So the next space would be a G. Our very first ledger line there is an A, written down here. The next space is a B. Ledger line number two is a C, and floating right on top of ledger line number two is our D in the space. So let's keep that in mind when we're naming our notes. I will be putting a link in the description below. As this song is not my own creation, and I found it on MuseScore from Ector4143. So you can check that one out there, but for now, Let's head back to naming our notes. Our very, very first note on ledger line number two is a C. And remember, all of our C's in this song are sharp. So let's add that sharp there. And right on top with our second note here, way up on line number five, whoop, line number five is our F. And again, our Fs are going to be all sharp unless otherwise indicated. Let's add that one in. And the next note right beside it is an F sharp as well. Back to ledger line number two with that C sharp. Writing in all of our nice little F sharps on that fifth line of the treble clef. Okay, going back to ledger line number two, back to our another F sharp. And here is where we change the notes ever so slightly. So floating right on top of that ledger line number two is our D. And D is our natural in this song, unless otherwise indicated. Back down to line number five of the treble clef, F sharp, up to our C sharp on ledger line number two, F sharp, F sharp, C sharp. Make sure you are writing these down. Uh, if you have printed out this sheet music so that you can follow along while you're playing on the piano. But we're back up to that ledger line space too. And then back down to our F sharp. And we'll continue all the way to the end of line number one. So most of our bars or measures are repeating themselves. C sharp, F sharp, whoop, that's a fancy F sharp, and a D and F sharp. So those three bars all, yep, they look the same. So it's nice and easy to memorize there. We decide to memorize Michael Myers' theme song. So we will continue. C sharp. I always find that memorizing the song earlier 
makes it a little bit easier to learn the song as you go. C sharp is another legend line number two, C sharp. Line number five, legend line space, D, two. Sharp, oh, this one's the same again, D sharp. And if you've noticed, they took away those accents. So accents are when the note is slightly louder than the rest of the notes that are being played. There we go, and let's continue to keep on, keep on continuing on. F sharp. C-sharps, lots of sharps on these lines here. C-sharp, F-sharp, D-sharp. Also, if you memorize this right-hand pattern that's going on here, it will be easier to find our left-hand notes. Again, our left-hand note has a nice little accent on it there. So let's take a look right on space zero. And if you're unsure of why I'm saying space zero, ledger line two, uh, I have a video for bass clef and treble clef. Let's go back to our naming of the notes. So we have an F, thinking about our key signature, we have a sharp on space number one right there in bass clef, we have an A. And I did not name these notes because those are ties. So we'll be holding our whole note for four counts plus the one count of our quarter note. So in total, we will have five counts or beats. This is also indicated in the time signature right up here. So I have other videos that explain the time signature, and there will be a video coming out hopefully soon that explains ties. Here was where it changes ever so slightly. This is called a natural sign, and that cancels out any sharps or flats. So in this case, we cancel out that C sharp. Same with this one, we cancel out those F sharps, and they become plain white key Fs. And then right here, we're back to a C sharp, because it is indicated before the bar line. And bar lines usually cancel anything that has been canceled, so it starts back fresh with the key signature. In this case, we, we're going to keep going with the naturals. Another F, another C sharp, F. Let's whoop, go down to the bass clef, almost forgot there. So we have a B flat on this one, and it's kind of odd to have a flat when the key signature is sharps, but nonetheless, we have a flat. Or if we want to stick to sharps, it is called an A sharp. And this one holds quite long, and I'll have a video out hopefully soon about how long of tie hold that one would be. Let's continue. We're back to the C sharp because there's nothing canceling out the C sharp there. Same with the F. We're back to that F sharp. C sharp, F sharp, F sharp, but we're back to the beginning pattern that we had going on on line number one and the song of line number two. C sharp, F sharp. Yeah, once you get your right hand smoothly and memorized, knowing where to go without looking at your right hand, you can focus more on finding your left hand notes. Sharp, oh, here's our second pattern where we cancel out most of the sharps. Here's our C sharp that we add back in there. F, let's zoom this down a little bit. Whoops, did I forget about the bass clef? I did. So here is Back to an F sharp, we hold to an A, hold to the B flat, or also called an A sharp if you want to stick with sharps. 
in with this pattern number two with all those nice naturals there canceling out our key signature sharps let's see this sharp that and here is where we change ever so slightly so we have a b going on here an e e is spelling the word e e e b e Ooh, we have a b sharp which is also called a C. But for this case, let's stick to a B sharp. And going back to the B, this was a B sharp right here, but this line, this nice bar line cancels out anything and it goes back to the key signature. So there was no B sharp in the key signature, so we're back to the Bs. B, E, E. B, E, B sharp, E, and let's not forget about the left hand. So let's do this B flat. Because there is a tie here, we keep holding it so we don't have to play anything else there. And we have an E and a G. So all of these ones here will be ties. So we'll keep holding them throughout the song here so we have some new notes so our a sharp just like above we it is also called a b flat so it's the same note we were playing above and now we have whoops i'm thinking about bees we have an e flat e flat a sharp we have an e flat e flat a sharp E flat and just a natural B there. E flat, A sharp, E flat, E flat, A sharp, E flat, E flat, A sharp. Nice little pattern going on there. E flat, B natural, E flat. And our left hand is going to be in E flat and holding it all the way here. Whoops, there should be a line there. Let's make that look more like it's supposed to with our quarter note. There we go. And we're back to that third pattern, that B. B, 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 and then here's where it changes to a B sharp or a C, B, E, E, B, B, E, B, E, B sharp, or also called a C, and then our A sharp, also called a B flat, so we have E flat, A sharp, E flat, E, whoops, that's a fancy one, A sharp, E flat, B natural, E Flat. Going down. Whoops, I forgot the left hand again. Don't forget your left hand. We have an E that holds and then a G and switching to an E flat. Just like the right hand. Right hand switched from an E to an E flat as well. And here's our A sharp in the same pattern here. A sharp. E flat, A sharp, E flat, B, E flat. And then we have oh, back to our F sharp. Here's our changes again to just a B. F sharps, B, so this is a lower B than the B that we were playing before. B, G, B, F sharp, B, B. B, B, F sharp. And this would be pattern number, whoops, five, I believe. F sharp, B, B, F sharp, B, B, F sharp, B, G, B, F sharp, B, B, 
Whoops, I'm going too fast. F sharp. Always double check and take your time. G, B, F sharp. B, B, F sharp. B, B, F sharp. Get into a rhythm. G, B, F sharp. Give your hand a break sometimes. F sharp. B, B, F sharp. B, G, B. We're on to bar 27. It looks like 28, 29. Oh, that means there are exactly 30 bars in this version of the song. Very cool. So let's forget about the... Oh no, we forgot about lots. We forgot about lots. Love our left hand notes. So just like we did with our right hand ledger lines, we went higher and forward in the alphabet. These ledger lines are similar, but we're going to be going backwards in the alphabet. Starting on our G. G. Line number one of the bass clef. And down to our space, we're going to be going backwards to F. Ledger line one in the bass clef is an E. That space is a D. Ledger line two in the bass clef is a C. And the note we are looking for is a B. And D. There's that one there. We have our E, F sharp, B, D. And sometimes the left hand has patterns as well, where you can memorize the left hand and focus on the right hand. E, let's get these ones out of the way first so do not forget them. And starting with pattern number four five that we have in the right hand. F sharp, B, G, B, make sure, I know I'm get, getting a little bit sloppy at the end here, make sure that you are able to read your letter names. That is the most important thing. G, B, F sharp, B, B, F sharp, G, B, F sharp, B, B, F sharp, B, B, F sharp, B, G, B. There we go. We have now named all of our notes in Michael Myers' theme from Halloween. So in this video, I'm not going to be showing the notes on the piano with my fingers. But what you can do is go over to that Muse score and the Ector 4143's version of the song here. And up here, there's a little piano looking button here. So click that button and let it load. And what you can do, let's see if it wants to go nice and big. There we go. What we can do is watch these blue lines and sometimes there's green or yellow ones for the left hand and finding which note corresponds with so this remembering our first note is a c sharp this is where c sharp is and also thinking about right here this c is our middle c so we have our nice high c here and then even higher to the c Black key sharp is our first note in the right hand. Then what you can do is press this nice start button and you can play along and this video will help you find the keys. So let's quickly just listen to a little bit and then I will show you another cool option for this video. Oh, and sometimes the sound does not correspond exactly just like this when it freezes with the uh, notes hitting the piano. So if you want, you can take your time and walk through the video here. Whoops, it doesn't look like it's going to. There we go. Yeah, left hand right here is on that. Well, let's go over here. No, nope, it's moving again. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm moving it up here. Okay, cool. So I'll just stop it right there. So this left hand is on an F sharp, or it's coming to that F sharp to be played. There's a cool other little trick that you can do up where this 100% is. And you can speed up or slow down. But I have found in this particular program that when we speed up or slow down, the image does not uh, keep in time with the sound sometimes. So that is how we find the note names for Michael Myers theme and how to play it. Make sure to check out my other musical videos and add a hashtag if you would like me to count a song such as Michael Myers theme. I haven't created a video for counting. I may if someone would like to see it. So make sure you check out my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and, and make sure to post the hashtag play me a song over on Instagram and Twitter and I will go through those hashtags and pick a song. Hopefully I'll get through everyone's who posts and I will give you credit in the credits. Also make sure to check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more musical content. And consider supporting me on patreon.com slash kmusicanddesign. Thank you for including me on your musical journey. Happy learning!